Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Standing Mengs, coming at you again with another Mengs Vance Wars War Robot! This time around, we're gonna be playing Kitten Lake versus Falter. And for this map, we're gonna be picking the Naval Slash Air Specialist, Natalie. Yeah, she is one of the best CEOs to tackle this map due to her normal power and strong air units. Men, defend my island, or it's your heads. That's a cat? I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't even see that at first. Not many people know that Falter actually has a cat on his arm. It's very hard to notice because of his uniform. So yeah, Natalie, she's one of the CEOs we didn't have time to make a custom theme for. She just uses Jess theme. Uh, her day today is very simple. She gets 15% attack and defense on all air and naval units, but she gets a minus 10% firepower penalty in weather. It's not really a consequential penalty at all. Only really gonna experience this when going up against Sky. Uh, she has a mini lightning strike as her normal power, two stars, she can move all air and naval units again, but they can't attack and they get minus two moves, so this is only good for repositioning. However, it is good for getting your transport copters to where they need to be, for loading off units, and if you know anything about this map, I think you know my strategy. She has a very strong superpower, it's seven stars, alpha strike, she gets 20% firepower and plus one move to her entire army, so that's a similar boost to Andy's hyper upgrade. But additionally, all of her naval units and air units gets another one move, that's two move total, and 50% extra defense, so that is ridiculous. That puts her air unit defense up to 60%. That means Empire are not gonna pose that much of a threat to her battlecopters and bombers. Certainly not her bombers, I would not attack Natalie bombers with Empire during Alpha Strike. I mean, the, the Empire, I think, has a base 115 or 120% damage against Battlecopters, so they'll still do about half their health and damage, but they can certainly survive it. So it's a very scary superpower. I don't know if we'll actually get to use it, though. We will see. We're up against Falter. A lot of people call him really bad. I actually think he's pretty good. Uh, he gets a constant 30% firepower increase, but it lowers when his powers are ready, and his powers aren't really strong. They only uh, damage his units and allows him to reset his day-to-day. -day. So, I don't know, I think Falter is probably really good on, like, super small maps where you won't really get to see many powers being fired up. 30% day-to-day firepower is actually ridiculous. I mean, it means his units hit incredibly hard. So, what I'm gonna do here is, uh, yeah, we're gonna start by capturing the nearby cities, and we're gonna be spamming a lot of battlecopters on this map, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be, we're gonna be battlecopter spamming Folter like there's no tomorrow. So, I'm gonna go and grab those airports as soon as possible. Capture these properties as well. And yeah, pretty much just gonna go infantry, and then we're gonna just spam the bejesus out of battlecopters. The game plan is, as you can see, uh, Folter's HQ is very isolated. It has a single airport next to it. So what we need to do is we need to get a fighter out. And we need to base lock the airport. Uh, we're gonna grab that city as well. It is actually pretty easy to lock down these two bases. That's what I normally do. Uh, but I'm actually not gonna bother with that right now. I'm gonna let them be. Normally I rush them really quickly, but for this strategy, I'm, I I might try to lock them down, but that's not my primary objective. My primary objective is to get battlecopters, a transport copter, and a fighter out. And try to go for an HQ cap. Oh, I didn't even check the S-rank uh, time limit. Let me check that out right now. Kitten Lake by from 2205, S-rank limit 18 days. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, I'm not gonna get that base. I can try going for it, but it won't succeed. So I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna bother with it, because I know he's gonna send a tank down to interrupt the cap. So, but as you can see, we're building up a lot of uh, a lot of cash right now, and that's very much intentional. We're gonna go for two battlecopters and a fighter and a transport copter really early on. The only thing we need to be careful about is we need to destroy some units to get that power ranking, but I estimate we actually won't be losing that many units in this war room, so that's gonna be fun. So, we have the other airport, that's very good. Uh, we have this property too, that's very good. Let's send an infantry over to capture this. And then it's time to spam the battlecopters. Now, Folger is gonna attempt an HQ cap pretty early. He always does this with his initial transport. It's not really a big deal though. Not really something you need to be wary of. But yeah, he's not really building anything in his bottom two bases, which is kind of strange. One thing he doesn't build a lot of on this map though, are Untire. It's actually surprising how few Untire he builds. So we're gonna build, uh, let's try like three rounds of Battlecopters. 
like so. And then on the next turn, I'm gonna build a fighter and a transport. That's at least the plan. All right, we got all the properties that we need. I don't know if there's any point in spamming more infantry, but I'm gonna go with two more. We'll see what happens. He still hasn't built any anti-air, which is good. I might need one bomber just in case he does. He has one anti-air coming down on the right side there. I hope he doesn't build any more. Sometimes he builds missiles, which is kind of interesting. Yep, there we go. I knew it would. I knew it would arrive. Uh, luckily, though, um, that's really stupid filter because the missiles have a very bad ranges. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. And thanks to Natalie's extra firepower, her battlecopters hit very hard. Now. His base is open. I could try to base lock it, but I don't think there's any point, so I'm not gonna bother with that. But we have to interrupt this cap at least, so let's try doing that. And then I'm actually gonna get a bomber here, and then we're gonna get a transport copter. Like so, and now we have all the bases, which is very good. But I still will probably build some infantry, even though... So what my, what's my income right now? 16k? Can't really get that fighter. Maybe I should have skipped the infantry, actually. That was a little bit stupid. Oh, well. I wonder what he's going to do with his missile. If he's going to retreat it or... Yeah, that's not going to work, Falter. Alright, I think I can destroy that Antire with my bomber now. Oh, okay. Genius level move there, AI. Base blocking yourself to unload a tra uh, infantry. That is, that is... That is some good stuff right there. Yeah, boom. And, yeah, I guess I'll just use the Botocopter to clear out this infantry. That probably will work. And I think Natalie's... Yeah, Natalie's Botocopters can one-shot transport, which is kind of nice. And boom goes the missile. And now we want to start traveling up with this transport right here. There we go. And, uh, as I said, I'm not... I'm not really going to bother much with the space. I'm going to grab myself some more Botocopters. I might try to get this base, maybe. I'm not entirely sure yet. But the other base, there's no point. It's I'm not gonna get it. So, might as well not even try. But I think I've already fulfilled the power requirements, because I destroyed, like, four units in a turn there. So that should be nice. Did he just place his Batacopter in range of my Batacopter? I think he did. Wow. What a smart AI. So I have my Alpha Strike right now, or sorry, my Quick Strike. I'm not going to use it until the next turn, though. So, first thing we're going to do... Wow, AI is so genius. We're going to do this. And we can have some fun with Battlecopters here. So, let's start by taking out Folters. So, this is actually very good. So, we pushed him down to minus 10% attack. This is very good. So, this means that he is at a constant minus 10% firepower right now. Which is where we want him to be. That means his units are not hitting... Oh! That was a misclick. I just ninja ended. I can't believe I did that. At the end of the day, it's not a huge deal because my transports are still on the way. But that was still pretty funny. I, I can't believe I did that. So, the only thing that could really screw things up for me now would be a Fulter Bolt of Fighter. But he did not, so... What I'm gonna do now is... Uh, I'm gonna build a fighter, actually. And I'm gonna prepare for a quick strike. I'm actually gonna attack this uh, transport right here. Don't worry, I'm gonna quick strike my way out of it later. So this should be fine. And yeah, can we destroy some more units? That would be nice. We can destroy this uh, rocket. Or try to, at least. Uh, I'm gonna destroy it completely, I think. And then I'm gonna do this to protect my transport. There we go. See, I ninja ended there, but in the in the end, it didn't really matter. No, that was not a Metal Gear Solid reference. That was just something I said on instinct. And then we quick strike. Oh dear, I had better step up the game a little. Mm -hmm. There we go. All of our air units can move again. Now, if you attack, sometimes it will say nine 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 nine. This is just a visual glitch, because um, she does 0% damage. Now what happens is, if they have defense, they will reduce 0 below 0, and that will roll it back to 999. Uh, however, it will not do any damage, as I will demonstrate right here. Yeah, no damage. So, 
Uh, even though it says 9 and I, I don't know if we're going to be able to solve it. Also, looks like I'm going to have to sack my transport here, which is a little sad. But yeah, she can't do any damage here. That's just how it goes. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's still a pretty damn good power. I mean, it allows you to pull your units out of range of the Empire, which is fantastic. And I guess I'll just build infantry now to increase my technique ranking. It allows you to do hit and run attacks, which was always the which was always the purpose of Quick Strike. I'm pretty sure. All right, I think the superpower is gonna come in now. Yep, there we go. Take it to the limit. Oh no, he's gonna deal damage to his entire army. What am I gonna do? He's probably gonna shoot down my transport though, but that's okay. Boom. He base locked himself though, which is kind of funny. Oh shit, I didn't even see that entire. That was stupid of me. But it's okay, as long as I don't lose it, I'm not gonna... Ooh. Uh, okay. Is there any way I can get out of here? Uh, can I... Okay, if I tank this infantry, 54%. Hmm. Is there any way I can get out of here and not lose that unit? I don't think so, sadly. Sadly, I do not think so. I guess that, that fighter is just dead. Rip technique ranking. Alright, so I'm gonna win next turn no matter what. All I need to focus on now is to try and not lose units. Oops, that was a bit silly of me. Let's kill that APC. And let's see if we can get this tank down as well. We should be able to. Come on. There you go. Luck damage. <laughs> Luck damage. Luck damage for the win, am I right? Okay, yeah, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose that Battlecopter. Nothing I can do about that, sadly. Oh well. Let's just keep spamming units for that technique ranking. Let's see. Uh, I've lost... Really? I've only lost a single unit? Really? Wow. Okay. Hmm. Impressive. I thought I'd lost more than that. For sure. Oh, nice. His entire moves first. That's hilarious. I might not even... Ah, no. I will lose the Battlecopter. He's going for the luck rolls. Alright. Cool. I think I won. I don't think there's any point in me destroying units. I think I've already accomplished the power rankings, so... But I'm gonna do it anyway, just for fun. Uh, there we go. Build the transport. Build an infantry. And let's just pop our power, just for fun. Are you just trying to piss me off? <laughs> quick strike. Sorry for not showing off alpha strike, but quick strike is just too damn good a power. All right, there we go. And that is how you beat Kitten Lake. And that's a perfect 300. Haha, <laughs> great balls of fire. There we go. And uh, since we already have Natalie unlocked at base, I think the only thing we get access to now are her colors. So now we have a bunch of new war rooms unlocked. So we have uh, Buckler Ire, Wetland Camps, Lapine Hills, and Forest Fire. This map, for some reason, uh, if, you're, if you're using a wrong emulator, it'll freeze the game when viewing this map. I have no idea why this happens. We, Ephraim thinks he was able to find a solution to it with the newest build, but he suspected it might still happen on some emulators, really. Advanced Wars 2 code is all over the place, and it is really brittle and really fragile, and that's why there's a lot of issues when hacking it. Um, but just use the MGBA uh, emulator and use the latest ROM and you should be able to view this map without crashing the emulator. Uh, but yeah, before we continue or before we end this episode, let's go to the battle maps and purchase the colors for Natalie. Oh wait, what am I talking about? It's Folter we get, not Natalie. I'm so stupid. This will let you play as Folter if you like pain anyways. Is that what you're after? I'm so stupid. I don't know why I thought I'd get Natalie from this. It's Folter you get. This will let you edit Folter's colors. There we go. Let's go take a look at his color scheme, shall we? See what we get. Maybe we can see his kitten more clearly if we change his colors around. So, here he is. <laughs> oh, you can actually see his eyes. Oh my god, that's actually really creepy. Oh, it does change his kitten. That's adorable. Wow, look at this guy. <laughs> 
Oh my god, nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh my god, look, he looks like a train conductor. A very violent train conductor. It's like, your tickets, please. I would, I would, I would pay up the ticket fee if this guy came in to my train wagon. Like, uh, yeah. Especially if he had a kitten on his arm. That's kind of adorable. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, join us next time as we take on Buckler Isle against Record. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys know what to do at this point. This has been Standing Manx, giving you a standing ovation. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.